Greetings everyone and welcome to a brief introduction video for the new collab series I'll be taking part in. Tactics Ogre, let us cling together. I'll be playing alongside Get Daved and Y Calibur. As always, links to their channels will be in the video description, but this collab will be slightly different than normal. Tactics Ogre is a tactical RPG and we will be playing the 2011 PSP enhanced port of the game which was developed by Square Enix. For the unfamiliar, a tactical RPG is a game whose story is stitched together by a series of tactical turn-based battles, where the focus of the game is on guiding your troops on the battlefield with the RPG elements presented between battles as you improve your troops' abilities and gear and progress the storyline. As with most Square Enix RPGs, there is a very rich story woven throughout the game, and in this case the story may be a little darker than some are used to exploring both the political and emotional elements of a prolonged war between nations. As one might expect, with such a heavy topic, there is a branching storyline, and that's where the collab comes in. This series was started on Get Dave's channel, where he's played from the beginning through to the conclusion of Chapter 1, at the end of which the main characters have been presented with a rather dire decision to make. This is where Y Calibur and I pick up, each choosing a different option and then playing through our version of Chapter 2 to find out where our choice takes us. Roughly speaking, the choices can be summed up as lawful and chaotic, and for this playthrough, I will assume the burden of the lawful choice. I strongly recommend checking out Chapter 1 on Get Dave's channel, but to summarise the story so far in very broad strokes, we play as a young man named Denim who, along with his sister, Courtier, and friend Vice, are all part of the Wallister clan. They live in the remnants of a conquered nation, caught in the middle of a conflict between foreign powers. Life is an ongoing hardship with war as a constant backdrop. Duke Ronwy had recently been kidnapped, so our group of would-be heroes enlisted the aid of a mercenary company to help rescue the Duke, which they succeeded in doing, and for which the Duke made them knights and began sending them out on various missions to help strengthen and unify their war-torn nation. While many of the missions are for the betterment of the nation, others are a little less clear, or at the very least, it's questionable whether the ends could justify the means. It is at the climax of one such mission that Y Calibur and I will choose our path through this series. Again, I strongly recommend checking out Get Dave's playthrough so far, as I very roughly summarised a rich story with vibrant characters into only a few sentences. You would be missing out on a lot by skipping them. But for the chronically impatient, my summary should bring you up to speed enough that you can enjoy the following videos. But finally, for anyone coming over to my channel from Get Dave's, I'd like to just cover a few differences worth noting between my playstyle and his. First, and perhaps most importantly, I tend to read dialogue where there isn't any voice acting. I do this as a convenience both for those who are slow readers and would otherwise have to pause the video repeatedly to follow the story, and for those who enjoy watching a let's play from a mobile device whose screen might make reading dialogue boxes a little more awkward. Secondly, I will make a point of checking out the reports and other optional information, where it doesn't seem excessive. I understand that Get Dave hasn't worked through the Warren Report, for example, an in-game compendium of all information on characters, places of interest, etc, etc. This might take me a while to work through though, so I may make a special, optional episode to cover it, or review bits of information here and there throughout my playthrough but I will tend to review any new information as and when I uncover it. And finally, while I'm no stranger to tactical RPGs, I am a relative newcomer to this franchise, and this will be my first time playing this game. So, while I've picked up a few tricks from watching Get Dave's videos, I will likely appear quite clumsy early on as I get my bearings, and especially as I get comfortable with the abilities and nuances of the various characters under my command. I hope you'll bear with me during this transition, and welcome any advice you might have to offer in the comments of each video. Don't hold back, I warmly welcome constructive criticism as long as it's offered politely. And those are the main points. 
I hope you're all looking forward to this series as much as I am. I'm enormously excited to be working on this as I adore tactical turn-based games like these and have been meaning to check out the Tactics Ogre franchise in more depth for quite some time actually. So I hope to see you in the next video, which will go live roughly around 6pm GMT today. So until next time, do take care.